Hello, everyone. I forgot to change my shirt, and praise be to the Almighty. Today, we have uh, some very fun and unique info on our buddy Dave. Information he actually put out. It's a few videos I can go through here. I need to delete that because that ain't helped me at all. We got pre-stream April 8th. It's a little tiny bit of that. 50 fucking four minutes, by the way. Remember when pre-streams are short for like two days? Uh, DSP Gaming would not mention taxes anymore. Tax lies from Mr. Hot Stuff. The original taxes video from DSP has less than a thousand views. He should have put a, a different thumbnail for it. It might have helped him out. He did not because he is an intelligent human. Jesus Christ. I really had to scroll to find that, didn't I? So let's see the sea of bullshit. Oh, wow, I forgot he did a Far Cry 4 review. <laughs> 4,000 views. This is the text. Uh, oh, shit, I'm stupid. I'm already in it. Yeah, okay. 925 views. Pre-stream April 8th. The big final explanation of my taxes. Nobody cared. And this mic, I need to find a good position for this mic. I can never get it to work how I want it to work. I try to keep the audio to be stable no matter how I move. I don't know if that's even possible because I'm good, good at uh, making videos. Anyway, this is the tour along. We're going to go over there first. But before I start this, I actually wrote some notes down. So, there's two things I would like to bring up in the beginning of this that I would like to sit in the back of your mind as you listen to this. How many people do you know that have financial issues? They tell strangers about the financial issues for four months. You could say six months if you want to talk about when he first said he had a problem. He didn't say what the problem was. But four months, definitely, of him talking about taxes. And he kind of put the wool, he kind of pulling the wool over people's eyes. Because when he was, um, I'm going get, to uh, get into that when we get to the part of the video. But he talked about how, uh, oh, I'm glad I don't have to talk about money anymore and asking directly for tips. He'd been doing this for a whole year. If you go back and listen to his pre-streams from when the Switch came out, when he was first playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, he was saying, if you want to help me out, directly tip me and all of that shit. So he'd been doing that for a full year. Maybe even longer than that, but definitely a full year. But he pretend like he only been doing it for a few months. But anyway, so, how many people have financial issues to the point where they talk about it every day? For 20, 30 minutes, four months straight. They don't know how much money they owe. They don't know how much, they don't know if they have enough to pay. They know they don't have enough to pay. They realize they don't have the money to pay. And they proceed to say, well, I don't want to talk about it anymore. That's pretty much what DSP said. Which is obviously kind of hard to believe anybody would do that. But it is what it is. Also, let's point, Let's make sure to point out Dave didn't do anything extra to get the money to pay his taxes. He didn't do any marathon streams. No special. He did special streams. But his special streams was literally him playing PUBG or Call of Duty or Battlefield. Well, not Battlefield. The Star Wars one. Battlefront. And putting shit on the screen. That's not a special event. But it is what it is. Didn't sell any of his stuff. He got a bunch of statues. He got 3DS with a capture card. He got a computer he either don't or barely use unless he threw the original lemon away. He got a bunch of shit. Didn't try to sell anything. Didn't didn't do extra streaming, even though he apparently streamed 12 hours a day now. That's some hot lore. And uh, yeah, don't want to talk about it anymore. Also... I'm going to get into that when I get to it. I think this pretty much is it for this. So let's turn on some... You piece of shit. I hate when I do this. I'm going to stop using Brave. It's too finicky. We're about to turn on some... Some nice, uh, nice, nice soothing music. And I need to have this, like, way in the background to be badly, badly hearable. Fantastic. And we have our twit longer from Dave. They call me Dark Side Philanthropist. Got my 2017 taxes today. And finally, have full info on my federal tax situation. 
Now, if you remember the actual law, this is not what we really supposed to be getting in for, if that makes sense to you. DSP said he had a tax problem. People was like, oh, it's the IRS. And he was like, no, it's not the IRS, it's state taxes. But now he's telling us in this video, it's a federal tax situation. But in other videos, he told us it was state taxes and federal taxes. Hidden federal IRS in state is state, but whatever. Since many of you are concerned and have contributed to help, I feel the need to share the results. If you absolutely do not care, please skip this post. You won't know this post exists unless you care. I mean, unless you go to Let's Players Twitter, Twitter accounts and check for tax info, I guess. Also, another thing to point out. This is how the tax saga explanation went. Hey Phil, how much do you? How much do you? How much do you? How much do you? I don't know. 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 I'm gonna tell you what I know. Then it got closer to him knowing, knowing if we want to believe him and pretend he didn't know at all until recently. Hey Phil, you gonna tell us how much you owe when you know? You gonna tell us? You gonna tell us? You gonna tell us? You gonna tell us? No, I'm not gonna tell you because people are gonna use that information against me and call me a liar. That's almost a direct quote. Now, if you can call him a liar based on the amount of money he say he owe from taxes, that mean, the only thing you can call him a liar about is how much money he make. So if he say people can call him a liar, or are gonna call him a liar, based on how much taxes he owe, then that mean he making more money than he put off that he making, if that makes sense. Which is fucking obvious, but whatever. People are gonna call him a liar. I guess unless he mean people will call him a liar about how much he say he owe, but why would you lie about that? I owe five, I owe fifteen thousand dollars. If you say you owe that much, then people are gonna say, "Whoa, you must get paid a lot if you owe that much," because it's like you own the internet. It's not, it's a lot of a lot of small people on the internet, a lot of dumb people. There's a lot of small people too, to even out the dumb people. Anyway, first the long explanation. It's pretty much as I expected. I owe a bunch of money, parentheses, over 4K parentheses, for my 2017 federal taxes by April 17th. That's six days from when I'm recording this video. Because I made more money last year than I usually would have. This was greatly in part due to you guys, the viewers and fans, rallying and being super supportive at the end of the year. In order to get me over the state business taxes hurdle, I was facing in January. So state taxes was January. And he owe more in federal taxes because he got more money last year because he begged the whole year. All right. Sure, you absolutely did. But because I made more money than usual, I now owe the IRS about $4,000 more than I had paid. So he paid his taxes last year. Keep this in mind. Actually, I should write this down, but I don't have anything to write with. He paid his taxes last year. He did not ask for money last year to pay his taxes. I'm sure he complained about it. You can go back three, four years and hear pre-streams of him complaining about taxes. So he paid his taxes last year, his federal taxes. He owed $4,000 more this year because he made more money last year than he paid for, if that makes sense. Because you pay based off what you make. It's, 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 it's what it is. So because he begged the whole year, he made more money. He didn't save any of the money. And if, you, if he did save the money, he dumped that money on state taxes. But the state taxes was paid by the... You see why I'm going with this? It's complete bullshit. Because if all of this is true, and I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you, oh, Phil lies about everything. Because if, if I say he lied about everything, then what would be the point of me reading this? I could just say, oh, he say he owed four grand, but he lied about everything, so he don't. I don't think, it, I don't think he's smart enough or care enough. Well, he might. I don't think he's smart enough to put this much time and effort in a lie. A six month, six month long lie, maybe exaggerated. And I'm sure he don't really owe this number. I'm sure he just rounded it up, maybe rounded it down. But there's no way he owed this exact amount. But you never know. But anyway, so he paid his federal taxes last year. Who fucking knows if he saved for it the whole year before that or if he just pulled it all out of his pocket at one time. But he paid his federal taxes last year. He did not ask for fan funding last year to pay his federal taxes. If you say he saved money, and if he say he saved money, then he should have the money to pay his federal taxes this year because he paid his state taxes, 
with fan funding. He says it right here in black and white. He said it on every pre-stream. Except for when Cat moved in, then he said he was able to move Cat in with the help of the fans. So with the help of the fans, you moved Cat in and paid your state taxes. Oh, I mean you just paid your taxes. Oh, I mean you moved Cat in. You know where I'm going with this? It's complete bullshit and mismatch nonsense. So he didn't save anything. At all. He knew he was making extra money, so he should have had the foresight to know he was going to pay, pay more federal taxes. Because he never, he never didn't pay federal taxes. Like the state taxes, the gimmick's supposed to be that his tax dude didn't do them right. So he didn't pay, ta he didn't pay state taxes for like three years in a row or some shit. But he always was paying federal taxes. And he didn't save. And if he did save, then like I said, he should be able to pay it then. So, the way this is supposed to work, the way he trying to actually make you think about this, is that if you want to say he saved, because I'm sure he would say, oh, I saved money. So if you want to say he saved money, no, it's not bullshit. There's no way he could have saved money. Because I think the gimmick, the way the gimmick worked for if you're self-employed, when it comes to federal, you pay him in the beginning of the year, and if you make a fuck ton of money more by the end of the year, you owe him more. So he already paid his federal taxes in the beginning of last year. Wait. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because last year was 20. No, he, okay. So he paid his federal taxes. I think I'm getting this right. He paid his federal taxes in the beginning of last year. He made more money. So now he owed more money than he would have. But if he paid his federal taxes in the beginning of last year, shouldn't he have to pay them in the beginning of this year, plus the extra EO? It must not work that way. I don't know when the fuck he actually paid pay federal taxes, because this is supposed to be back taxes. Well, not back taxes. This is supposed to be extra taxes that he owes because he made more money. It's dumb. This is really fucking dumb. I thought this was about playing video games on the internet and having fun. So, he apparently paid 4000 in back taxes for the state, and he made more than he was supposed to make because he begged, and now he owe another 4000 Very even number, right? I know. Blows your mind. Those science, those tax guys must really love the number four. So now he owe another 4000 plus 5000 for his tax attorney. Now, if you go, I'm not going to go back to find all of them, because they might be kind of hard to find. Shout out to Killer Comedy Unleashed, by the way. So, let's see here. Jesus Christ, that's some scrolling. I gotta go to the second page? That's disgusting. Why y'all doing them like that? The algorithm is murdering this dude. Would be nice if it loaded. I'm gonna see if I can find, like, special, maybe. Like, special stream. Yeah, birthday special, so that's the birthday. So, you see here completely hold himself out he got his little dumb birthday shit week-long birthday celebration by the way he has a tip goal two thousand dollars the tip goal for his birthday which is gonna just make his taxes higher next year right whatever this is birthday i'm trying to find a christmas one I thought I would have got it from looking up special, but I got—I guess not. Then you have the end of the month special, which is obviously when he went on this period, I guess. So end of the month special, well, end of the month event. Yeah, you can't even find this shit on his own channel. That's kind of bad, because this don't have the the horror stuff on the screen. Yeah, that's gone. Whatever. I'm gonna just have to tell you, and you fucking find it yourself if you care. He did, I believe, three beggathons. He did the original one for Christmas. And I think he had a $2,000 goal. I really got to look this up. I should have thought of this ahead of time. I feel bad. Let's see. It's just so much junk. Even when you find what you want to find, it's like micro searching you need to do after finding what you want to find. Christmas Night Battlegrounds. Was this it? No. What the hell? I need to turn this TV down too because it's an echo. Whoops. 
And I'm not gonna edit any of this out. That's why I try to talk a lot when I do these videos. Then that way you don't get a bunch of silence. Sounds good? I could have swore PUBG for Christmas had the, the, the horror counters on the screen. I guess not. Well, ain't that about a bitch. Because if you go to playlist, this is, a, this is trash. Complete fucking trash. Well, it's not that bad. A bunch of games ain't come out this year yet. So I might be able to find it. Special fundraising session. Wow. And Tip's goal is 2000 That was Chris, That was December the 30th, so it wasn't Christmas. I was wrong. So his first fundraiser was a $2,000 goal. Right? Okay. And if we go forward, I think it might have been the end of February. Maybe. I know he played shitty Battlefront, so this got to be it. Yeah, this is the middle of February. Oh no, he just got top. He don't have a goal here. I feel like this motherfucker did a goal for something else. Was it really the end of the month? You see how hard it is to find stuff on this dude channel? And you wonder why people fucking don't watch him? Okay, so at the end of February, I was right. End of February, he got the chill ball. He got rid of the chill ball too since he got suspended. He actually think that's going to get him in trouble. Tip's goal, $2,000. He didn't hit the goal either, none of, none of these times, by the way, except he hit the goal for the original fundraiser. Didn't he get four grand? I think this faggot got like $4,000 this fucking day. I believe he did. $2,000, Patreon was 1300 Yeah, almost $3,000 in direct donations, $1,300 in Patreon. <laughs> so that's December 30th all of that all of that that's one day so we, we're going to be assholes about this and say that's $3,000 that's basically just about the state taxes right there in that one day wearing a blouse in this video by the way so that's hot so that was the first fundraiser $2,000 goal he got almost three second fundraiser was end of February. Oh my fucking god, brave. Really? Second fundraiser end of February. Two thousand dollar goal. And the fundraiser he just did, well his special stream he just did for his birthday. Because he's a whore. Two thousand dollar goal. So he wanted six grand over the course of three fundraisers. He got three grand in one and didn't even get 500 in the next one and didn't get 500 in the next one because if you go to the last video of this yeah not even 300 dollars that shit was stupid dead so he flew too close to the sun wings melted off and people don't want to give him money like that like talking about also this month has been very slow for dave even though he uh in the peak of his taxes his birthday pass still been pretty slow when it come to getting direct donations it's almost like people just gave DSP money because it was the end of the year and because he begged a lot. Oh well. Them's be the breaks. Anyway, back to this. This is going to be a long video by accident. In addition, my new tax attorney is charging me around $1,000 to file my taxes. I thought he already filed them though. I guess he's paying for it and then after he doing it. I don't know. This is as expected as my previous attorney charged me about the same. You mean a dude that fucked you over? Okay. My last, my last weed man charged me like $50 for an ounce. And my new one do that too, so it must be cool. That's expected. You're not just getting fucked over again. The good news, I have raised enough money to pay both these 2017 back taxes and my tax attorney. Both. Wait, what? So, wait, is this $12,000 then? Because I really hope I'm reading this wrong. So he owed $4,000, right? And he, wait, 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 wait. That's federal, okay? Because it say both. 
There's no way he owed $4,000 three times. This is the most perfect number ever. Yeah, this is a mean ass number he pulled out of his ass. So he got his taxes, blah, blah, blah. 4000 for federal. Okay. And he need to pay that by April 17th. He have enough to pay that. All right. In order to get over the state business tax hurdle that he faced in January, which is the one he paid apparently, which was a phantom number, I guess. And because people gave him so much money, he owed 4000 more than he paid, which is different than the original 4000 Somebody else got to understand this better than me. Reading this at face value doesn't make any fucking sense unless the tax people really, really like the number four. Huh. So he raised enough to pay both 2017 back taxes and his attorney. But does 2017 back taxes mean the years he didn't pay taxes? Because if so, that's just state taxes. 2017 wouldn't necessarily be back taxes. It would just be taxes. The good news, he raised enough money to pay both and an attorney, whatever the fuck he is. The bad news, in addition to everything above, I'm now expected to pay my first estimated tax payment for 2018 by April 17th, an amount of another $4,000. So this is a separate $4,000. Yeah, these numbers are bullshit. Hey, bro, you owe us 4K in back taxes, but also give us 4K in federal taxes, and you owe another 4K in your estimated. That's bullshit. That's, that's, no, boy. yeah, no, no. If When you read between the lines, this makes way less sense. This don't even sound reasonable. It, it just sounds 100% artificial, to be honest. It's a really fake number. He could have at least gave us separate numbers instead of just four, three times in a row. So if I want to, if I want to read this the way I'm reading it, um, this mean he owed twelve thousand dollars in taxes. So federal regular, and then the back taxes. Even though we're calling them both back taxes, even though they're not both back taxes. So four regular, four state, a thousand attorney, and then four estimated. Okay, sure. This sadly I don't have at all. All of my available funds are going to the 2017 taxes and tax attorney filing fees, which is exactly as I feared. I do not realistically see myself raising 4K in the next nine days to pay this unless a miracle happens. Speaking of 4K in the next nine days, based on information DSP has given us because he talked too much, he get paid in the middle of the month by a Twitch. It's actually pre-streams of him blatantly saying, I get paid by a Twitch on insert day here and if you look at the numbers he made about about thirty five hundred dollars so I guess that's just all to the bills and he needs another four thousand dollars phantom money to pay the actual taxes that's hot that is hot this sadly I don't have at all all of my available funds are going towards the 2017 state taxes no it's 2017 taxes and tax return filing fees but it's exactly as I feared I do not realistically see myself raising 4K in the next nine days to pay this unless a miracle happens. Pay up. So sadly, for now, it looks like I'm stuck not paying, meaning I'll begin to accrue late fees and penalties on this unpaid tax. Congratulations. You fit in with about 90% of Americans. You have fees added to your bills. But the tax is not a bill. It don't work that way. If you think taxes can be a bill, you don't know what you're talking about. You must be a kid. That's what he told people. Also, I have further payments due in June, September, and December. So, uh, big for life. Sounds good. Which I hope to be able to afford with the money I raise between YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, Teespring, and tips. So, if things go well this year, I may be in the clear. But it absolutely sucks that I'm going to start off behind and owe these fees and penalties. 
So he owed four grand for his first estimated payment. I just noticed the word, the word first and I actually caught that. That's not the whole year. He owed four grand for his first estimated payment. Is this nigga paying 20 grand in taxes a year? Or is his first payment gonna be 4K and the other ones are different numbers? How much money are you making DSP to be paying this much in taxes? I'm not believing it's $4,000 though. That is a, that is obviously a round up or a rounded down number. And even then, why would you give us the same number so many times? If you want to be a little more believable, be like, oh yeah, this is like 2,000, this is like five, this is like three, four, four, four. You Jay-Z fan. Let's see, the worst part, the state business taxes I had to pay in January, plus the attorney fees I already paid to resolve the situation have cost me around 5K. So the state taxes in January, 5K. He also apparently paid another tax in the beginning of the year that's not necessarily listed, but it say here he got enough to pay both the 2017 back taxes, which isn't even what the situation actually is, but whatever. So 4K plus one plus another number he didn't give and he owed four more. But then in addition to everything above, he owe another 4,000. You see how odd this wording is? I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assume he just did a bad job at typing and he just owe $4,000 and not owing 4,000 more Plus, in addition, it say in addition to everything above, he owe another four thousand. I'm gonna assume this is one set of four thousand dollars, and not him owing eight thousand dollars. Gonna just assume he typed wrong, cause DSP is kind of dumb. Uh, do, 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 do. But Tevin, you kind of dumb, cause you can't read and you can't understand this fucking cryptic ass text message correctly. Well, there you go. I deny this is blah, blah, blah. Worst part, state business tax five thousand. I love this, by the way. He's still shifting blame towards this dude. This is old. Either sue him or get the fuck over it. If my old tax attorney had done his job, you mean a dude you pay a thousand dollars, and you paying a new dude a thousand dollars? But even though the old dude didn't even do the same amount of work as the new dude, whatever. If my old tax attorney had done his job, I would actually be in a completely fine place right now. It might have even earned an extra bit of money. Instead, I find myself on the edge of a slippery slope of unpaid federal taxes that could cause me to lose my home. Congratulations, you don't deserve it. In the upcoming year, I'm, I'm not reading this the way it's typed, by the way. Oh, yeah. I also am supposed to be hearing from the state of Washington soon when they complete their assessment of how many unpaid business taxes I owe. So, he paid 2017 federal taxes. He say, oh, but he say he had enough to pay it. If, if I'm going to read this with my broken way of understanding this, he paid 4K already, or he got 4K for 2017 federal taxes. He also either paid another four, will have enough to pay another four, or he put this in twice, because right here it say another four. So who fucking knows? He could have paid 8000 but then it say both. He raised enough money to pay both. So that mean he paid $9,000 in taxes. Oh, he raised $9,000. And he owe another four. So he paid, he paid federal. This was not the accountant fault. Because he was doing his federal taxes. He... He lumping his shit up to make the situation seem worse and to get more sympathy. This $4,000 he paid, that has nothing to do with his old attorney. He didn't get fucked over out of that. The only thing he got fucked over when it come to was the state taxes. Because he didn't think he had to give the state anything. He thought it was just going to be able to live there for free, I guess. So, he paid nine grand already, or he got nine grand. If you want to read this the way it say, because it say he raised enough to pay both, and then it say here another four thousand, so he paid nine grand. He need another four grand 
and then he still don't know how much back taxes for the state he got. But the issue was him owing state back taxes. How much time is state in this? In order to get me over the state business taxes hurdle. So the state business taxes hurdle is the phantom number. He didn't actually list this number. He only gave us 4K for the federal taxes, which is worthless. This is not what he got fucked over when it come to. These, this was done correctly. He shouldn't even list that. That's like me saying, that's like me saying somebody screwed me over when they sold me a used PlayStation. And then I tell you about it a week later and I talk about the Xbox I bought that didn't work too. I didn't get screwed out of the broken Xbox though. I broke it. PlayStation was me getting screwed over. The PlayStation is the thing he didn't even get the number to yet. So he paid the 4000 in federal taxes. He already would owe that anyway no matter what. He got over the state business tax hurdle, which apparently isn't, wait, which apparently isn't the state business taxes he had to, oh my God, I'm dying trying to comprehend this dumb shit. I need to write this down. So the worst part so far, those state business taxes I had to pay in January, plus the fees I already paid have cost me around 5K. He given us the same information over and over again. So, based on information from the end of this post, because it say the state taxes he had to pay and the attorney fee cost him around 5K. So, pretend this part is in the beginning, which gives me the number like I had $9,000. So, $9,000 he already got, which is so I guess I was right about that. Then he owed another 4K. Okay, sure, I guess. Okay, whatever, sure. The worst part though, state business taxes you have to pay, cost him 5K if his old attorney did his job, okay. Oh yeah, I also am supposed to be hearing from the state soon when they complete their assessment of how many unpaid business taxes I owe. This is the only thing that matters. The only issue is how many state back taxes he owe. That's the issue. That's what he got fucked over when it come to. He was supposed to pay federal anyway. The state he already paid is just one year. This isn't back taxes. This is taxes he owe. He called it back taxes. It's not back taxes. The 1K was to whatever. So that's nine. Another 4K is the first estimated payment. That's again, not state. That's federal. That's what he always was paying anyway. So the only thing he actually need fan funding for, he don't even have the number yet. I'm, I'm glad I read this and I'm, I'm sorry I wasted your time so much on this. But I'm glad I read this the way I read it now. It, it's, it come together when you get to the end of it. So to sum this dumb shit up, I, I'm sure somebody else already did this and posted about it somewhere. But I, I ain't been reading that stuff lately. So to sum this dumb shit up, he owed 4K. Well, he owed 4K, but he got it. He owed one towards the accountant. He got it. He owed another four. He got it. The 4K plus the four plus the one, he was going to pay that anyway. He literally should not have gotten fan funding for that. Because that was taxes he already had been paying for years. Except the state. Because apparently this, apparently this state business taxes hurdle is the second 4K, but he didn't list it. Except later he listed and said it cost him around five. But he got the same attorney for both, so that's nine if you add the other four. <laughs> so the state he was supposed to already be paying, this is not back taxes. The federal, this is not back taxes. But he say here to pay both these 2017 back taxes. They're literally not back taxes. Back taxes is the state shit that he got over the course of years that he still don't know the number to. So this whole time, his issue was my back taxes, my back taxes, my back taxes. He still don't know the number. 
federal is his responsibility. All of all of this, all of this, his responsibility. But I'm going about this in a way like the gimmick is supposed to be that the state back taxes, the number he don't have yet. The actual state back taxes for when he went three years without paying his taxes, that's supposed to be what he needed help with. He paid his federal, he paid his state for 2017. For some reason, he calling this back taxes. It's not necessarily back taxes. Not in the same way of back tax. Not in the same way of if you don't pay taxes at all for three years. That's back taxes. But he calling the federal for last year and the state for last year, back taxes. That's eight grand, a thousand accountant. Well, attorney. He, I, does he get called the accountant and attorney? Oh nah. Is it just attorney? This ain't getting me what I want. Attorney, attorney, attorney. Uh, do, do, do actually accrue. Okay. I think he just called him attorney in it, so he didn't get his mess. He didn't get his words mixed up. So he paid back. I'm going over this like 17 times, cause I'm trying to make sure I I, I think I got this right. So the number he asked, the number he begged for money for, the number he did his drama video about, the video he did in September when he was like, oh, I got some bad news. The number he say he got fucked over, because, you know, the dude fucked him over by not doing his state taxes. He still don't have that number yet. And if he owed four grand just in 2017 for his taxes, if it's three years he owed these people, or even two years, that ought to be, what, nine, ten grand in? He ought to be fucked. These numbers don't, they don't add up, they don't look right, none of this looks right. This, this looked like, he looked like, it looked like he rounded up a lot or rounded down a lot. So he had enough to pay nine grand. He owe another four that he don't have. And his state back tax is the thing he got fucked over on. He don't even know the number yet. So he owe four grand plus question mark. That's what he actually owes. Four grand plus question mark. Wow. Ooh, lad. Also, I'm supposed to be hearing from the state of Washington soon when they complete their assessment of how many unpaid business taxes I owe. And that's just another thing. On top of everything. I'm hoping they'll put me on an extended installment payback plan, but that is still uncertain. Unless you Master P, I think they're going to put you on a payment plan. As a matter of fact, Master P didn't go to jail for tax evasion, I think. I don't think he did. I think he just had a big-ass fee he had to pay. I think uh, Wesley Snipes is the only one I can think of that actually went to jail for it. Thanks for the help of the viewers. I'm able to pay my 2017 federal taxes, which is his responsibility. He already knew those existed. And a tax attorney in full. But I thought you was able to play both. Both. It say right here, I raised enough money to pay both these 2017 bag taxes. Then in the end, he's saying he got enough to pay federal and an attorney. But he still owe 4K for his first federal tax payment of 2018. And have nothing to pay that with. This is why people, including me, because I didn't really read this for real until just now. This is why people were saying he wanted $4,000. He kind of don't. He kind of need more than that. If this is all actually true, and if you take this at face value, he need four grand plus the state back taxes, the actual back taxes. The thing that the emergency is even about. He still don't know that number yet. So he need four grand plus those for real back taxes. The 4K is the estimated payment. That's, yet again, his responsibility. He knew that existed four years ago. He knew he had to pay that. The federal shit, he knew he had to pay that since he started doing YouTube full-time. So that's not even worth... That's not even okay for him to complain about that, in my opinion. It's like if I was to start streaming today and say my light bill high. Oh my God, you guys, my light bill's $200. How, how much was it last year? It was $200. Why the fuck you complaining about it? That's pretty much what this federal shit is. He owed that. All, he always owed that. And I have nothing to pay that with. So he, he don't have the estimated and he don't even know the actual back tax number. That is hot. Ooh, lad. So I'm starting the year way behind. And if things on Twitch slash YouTube don't improve. So if you don't watch the fuck out of his videos or directly give him money, he gonna have to sell his house. 
forced to sell it within a year. If a miracle happened and I somehow raised the 4K in nine days, that ain't happening. It will be in an incredibly better position and feel more positive about things than I do now. Give me four grand so I can be in a good mood. And instead of saying this game sucks, I'll just say shitty fucking dicks, act, act, act. Since I wouldn't be 4K behind on my taxes from the get-go and could focus on the future, yeah, focus on the future, like your actual back taxes number that you still don't know. But that's the reason the emergency even existed. What? Okay. If a miracle happened, blah, 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 since I wouldn't be 4K, blah, 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 but I'm not really expecting said miracle to happen. Thanks for all your time, and I hope this clears things up. It kind of don't. You paid 4K plus phantom number, which is allegedly 4K, plus a thousand. Because it say here, the state business tax, the state, yeah, the state business taxes I had to pay in January, plus the fees, cost 5,000. Right here, it say over four for federal. So he paid nine grand already. He owe another four, plus he owe act, plus he owe the actual back state taxes. This post did not clear this up at all. It took me 30 minutes to try to figure out what this even meant. So that's fantastic. Yikes. This is the beginning of this pre-stream. I wanted to listen to. I could turn this music off too. Oh, I fucking hate this browser. This is the beginning of this pre-stream I wanted to listen to. And then we can go to the actual text thing. Okay, hello everybody. Wow. Hello, 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 and welcome. <clears throat> How is everybody doing today, this lovely Sunday? I, I I'm doing extremely well. autistic. What about you? And I welcome you to today's gameplay. Oh, stream. boy. Only one stream today. It's going to be more laid-back fun uh, than anything else. Nothing too serious today. No no ongoing playthroughs or the like or anything like that. I also want to go back to bring to the to the thing. He say, um... He say he don't know how he's going to get the... It's some way in here. He don't know how we're going to get $4,000 without a miracle. What kind of shit is that? Oh, my fucking God. This browser is so dumb. What kind of shit is that? And then in a pre-stream, he even say he don't have anything to sell. You don't have anything to sell. I'm going to go over that when I get to it. <clears throat> Instead... Today we're going to be doing a little bit of Call of Duty World War II, just for the hell of it, just for some quick fun. Um, it's ought to be loud enough. You know, so we're not doing anything too serious, it also anyway. breaks stuff up, because as you guys know, this last week has been pretty much all Far Cry 5 and Nina Kuni 2, with the exception of Friday, where I did some Ultra Street Fighter 2 and PUBG. Figured this would definitely, you know, break stuff up to prepare for the new week. You know, this whole week coming up is going to be... Uh, more ongoing kind of playthroughs. So this will be a good day of a variety, okay? By the way, I should mention, <clears throat> today is Sunday, April 8th, 2018. Okay. Hello, hello. The one major thing is something he said that I typed a big update for all of you guys that, uh, about on social media uh, yesterday is my taxes finally are complete. And what I mean by that is they have been completed, the federal taxes have been completed by my accountant uh, slash tax attorney. And, you know. How was he an accountant slash tax attorney? I don't know how this actually works in that case because I don't have a fucking business. Sorry. And I didn't do 14 hours of research. <laughs> it is what it is. A tax attorney slash accountant. Is this just some asshole and he, he getting them to do both? To save money, or is that actually how it works? I don't know. Uh, I, I'm I sure somebody gave you guys an update potential. about that on Twitter last night, and I don't know how many of you actually read the tweet longer. It was a tweet, tweet longer post that was very detailed. We do, very detailed. Um, <clears throat> we did go to dinner. Uh, at okay, a cheap we own cat thing. This is what I wanted to listen to. This is what he did the day after his birthday. He did a week long Twitch celebration. And did a birthday stream. And he had the nerve to say he celebrated his birthday the day after. When he quote unquote took the day off. And I, I want to point out some really specific things. Because these are things I noticed from listening to DSP talk too much. 
did that, but also went out and, uh, you know, did a few fun things. Didn't get to do all the things that I would have liked to do. We didn't go to an arcade, which I thought we could. He wanted to take a grown woman to an arcade. Do, but it didn't happen. The same arcade he took Panda Lee to multiple times. What a nice, cool guy. Hey, honey, you want to go where I took my old bitch? Um, <clears throat> we did go to dinner uh, at a ch dinner. Now, of course, when DSP says he went to dinner, people are going to say, what the fuck you begging for tax money, Phil? You're going out to expensive dinners? So he immediately shuts it down before you can say anything. Cheaper place went to our cheap place. Ramen place called Karashi. I think it's Karashi or is it Kar cheap. No, I can't remember what He had to tell us called. it was cheap. It starts with a K. <laughs> it's a ramen place. Yeah, that's um, the, the ramen place. At my place. local mall. All right. And... It's really nice. It's a, you know, sit-down place, restaurant. You know, He's so uh, bad at talking I don't really get noticed. Very. Restaurant dude noticed him, and he was like, oh, he was nice to me. He didn't spit in my face or punch me. The dude that worked at the restaurant noticed you. I don't think he's going to lose his job and go to jail because he punched you. But apparently the dude that gave him the food at the restaurant walked up to him and was like, oh, happy birthday, by the way. So there's some dude that probably watched the tractor videos and he noticed DSP in real life. And it's an Asian man. You know how DSP feel about Asian people. Now versus, you know, six, seven years ago. Very, I thought, oh, maybe yeah, the yeah. guy from, who was working at the restaurant. Uh-huh. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, before she even moved in, when she visited me, we would usually have like three, four days together. And one of the days we would set aside just to do that. And now that we only have one day a week really together full time when we're not working, we're always out and about running, running, running and getting we're tiring. We get home. Like last night, I got home at like 9, 9.30. I'm dead tired, man. I'm like, dude, we've been out since 10 in the morning. Leaving the house at 10 in the morning, going out to eat and like walking around a mall and going to movies and shit. Getting home at 9 o'clock. It's tiring. Wow. We're, I'm so tired. Yeah, I can't do anything. You're going to fall asleep. Fall asleep. <laughs> so, you know, Jesus we change Christ. it up a little bit, I think. Our next day is coming up. Uh, we're going to try to do more relaxing stuff. But anyway, it was a nice day away. It was a nice day away from streaming. Um, now I'm back. However, this week's a really weird week because, again, our schedule is weird. The, our, the only day off this week that we both have off is third. The only day off that we both have. Nigga, you don't have a fucking work. You don't have a work day. He said his own work day. The only day we have off. Don't you like that? You ever knew one of those kind of people? I don't really know how to accurately explain it. But obviously, Cat got a real job a real job you know she don't do dumb youtube videos so cat gotta wake up in the morning when she don't want to wake up if she you know if she feel like it or if she don't feel like it she still has to get up she gotta go somewhere she gotta clock in she gotta work and listen to some other asshole all day and then she gotta come home drive home get through fucking stupid traffic and then she off dsp's work day wake up tweet ban some people on the forums play games for four hours, take a two-hour-long food break, come back, play some games for two hours, upload the videos, and go to sleep. One of those things is not like the other. And he actually got the nerve to try to equate what he do to what anybody with an actual 9-to-5 job do. It's fucking disgusting. He don't even edit videos. It's not like he edit videos. Even then, you could say, oh, well, that's kind of work. Editing videos isn't necessarily the most fun thing you can do in the world. He don't even do that. What he do is the least amount of effort of anybody. Probably on YouTube. He don't make layouts. He don't make fan art. He don't design his shirts. He barely, he barely moderate. He upload the raw videos. The most work he do is naming his videos. And he's trying to equate that to somebody that lived with him that got an actual job. I hope he don't talk to her that way, but if he do, that's, dis that's disrespectful. It really is. It really is. I feel like I feel like a a, a a typical housewife has more to complain about, even by a long shot. A typical housewife got more to complain about. He don't even have pets to take care of. He don't even have pets. He can wake up whenever he wants to. He can go to sleep whenever he wants to. Every day. He could stream as long as he wants to. He can stream whenever he wants to. It's his fault he has a schedule. And it's his fault he think he got, you know, some dumb work schedule. But I feel like that's really disrespectful in my opinion. 
Like, imagine you knew somebody that, I don't know, what's a dumb, shitty job that's easy, easy? Because, you know, people that do stuff full-time on it and don't want, to, don't want you to tell them it's easy. I don't fucking know. Just put yourself in the same situation. You go to work at, I don't know, Walmart. You assistant manager at Walmart. You get up like 6, 7 in the morning. You go within an hour. You get home 3, 4 in the afternoon, maybe if you're lucky. Probably five or six since you're a system manager. You probably got to do annoying stuff. You got to drive through a fuck ton of traffic. And you got to go home and cook for this piece of shit. That think what he do is equivalent to what you do. All work schedules. Thursday. Disgusting. I know that sounds weird because I just had Saturday off. Off. But it's just weird. It's going to be like Every this, day is know? an Some off weeks day. We can coincide. Some weeks we can't. Because it all depends on a, you know fluctuating, fluctuating work schedules and the like. Work schedule. Um, so remember, that means- when, remember when DSP uh, in one of his little rambles, he said that YouTube and, and streaming started to feel like a job. Like he felt like he had to come uh, come to work and clock in and clock out. Does this sound like somebody that changed that way of thinking? No, it does not. It means I'm going to be working. Working. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, working. and then a day off on Thursday, okay? Day off, working. Not much I can do about it, so let me explain what you guys can expect. It's not much he can do. He set his own schedule. Do you have an, do, you, do Twitch partners have a manager? Does he have someone at, at Twitch set his schedule? Nothing much he can do. You can stream whenever you want to. Back to the next hours. few days, so at Good least you have Lord. a quick schedule update. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about my tax situation so you guys know what's going tax on. Tax situation. Um, tomorrow, Monday. Uh, then we're going to be doing a little bit of Far Cry Arcade together called Extinction Superpowers. Like it's getting incredibly repetitive, boring, and not good. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be checking that out. The capability too. It's just a way to cheat the system and make money. A year too early. All right, now there's one more thing we're going to listen to before we get to the actual him talking about the taxes. And then that pretty much should be the end of the video. It's like 25 minutes he talked about it. This, he got a game for free from either a marketing company or directly from the publisher called Extinction. The game shit, the game got bad reviews. DSP reviewed it today and gave it like a two out of 10 or some shit. The game bad, it looked bad, it crashed a lot, and it's $60. He got that game for free. And the thing that's kind of weird to me, he basically sold himself out and it wasn't even worth it because he always shit on people getting games for free. He always shit on people getting review copies. He got a game for free, he got a review copy. And if you bring this up to him, he flip it around on you and make it fit his narrative. Oh, well, I don't like people playing review copies early. Oh, well, I don't like people getting games getting games and kissing its ass because they got it for free. He flip it around all of that. Long story short, when he was playing his game yesterday, because I'm recording this on Wednesday, when he was playing a game Tuesday, People was in the chat like, oh, the game fucking sucks. It looks bad. He was like, oh, it's not that bad, bad. At least it's fucks you, though. The game's fucks you, though. Remember when he did a review and called the game the worst game ever or some shit? Let me see if I can find it. Homefront the Revolution. Homefront the Revolution was functional. Got a million views, by the way. Homefront the Revolution was functional. And he clickbaited it to get a million views and go on a vacation. But he defended this game the first day he played it by saying it was functional. Okay. But he pretty much, by the end of the stream, he got pissed off. He pretty much rage quit it. He came back to it today, forced himself to beat it, gave it a 2 out of 10 review. And he's going to clickbait the review, by the way. He gonna, I, think he, I think he said he's going to name it like the most disappointing game of the year. Even though it's just April and barely any games came out. Most, most disappointing game of the year. Sounds good. Sounds fucking good. Early. But anyway, this is him defending himself getting the game for free. And uh, he go a little bit into it and some... some, some just some, because I have uh, the capability to. It's just a way to cheat the system here. and make money. And rather than that, I'd like to prove to you guys that I care more about being a common gamer just like you. And he like to He would like to prove that he wants to be a common gamer just like me. Just like me. I don't know about you. But the common game, I don't, don't upload twit longers, saying that they need four grand in nine days to pay bills on time. I don't know about you, but the common game, I don't get a bunch of games for free from their fans. 
DSP, this shit kind of annoys me because he would rather get games for free from his viewers than, to be honest, just sell out and get them for free from his fans. I'd rather be a sellout than a whore because what he does is he being a whore. He could be a sellout and get paid to play games. He can get games for free and get paid to play them. All of that shit. He can get games straight straight from the developer. Maybe not all AAA games. He could definitely get some. But he would rather cry on stream every day and talk about how much games cost and how he almost overdrafted his bank account to buy one game. And he would rather get games for free from his fans and enrage quit them. He would rather do that than to sell himself out to people that basically got inf got infinite pockets. I say fuck them over instead of fucking your fans over. That's just me. But he wants to prove himself that he's a real gamer just like you and me. You want to prove yourself to who, DSP? Teenagers on the internet that watch Let's Plays and edgy old people like me? What's the fucking proof? Like... What is... I, I'm at a loss of words. I, I actually, I'm actually at a loss of words. You want to prove yourself to teenagers and fucking assholes like me that don't like you anyway. We don't give a fuck what you do. You're still going to get shit on by somebody. What is this about? Is it, does he think somebody going to give him more money? Wow, Phil, you got a game for free and didn't play it early. And you're going to give it an honest try, an honest review. Well, here's $70, Phil. Does he think that's going to happen? And what playing a game at face doing? value on release day, just like you. All right. So I'm going to start it Tuesday instead of playing it early like I have the ability to. All right. Um, will I be playing Extinction long form? It all depends. I like him flexing this bullshit, too. I can play it early if I want to. Yeah, if you pirate it, you can play it early, too. Anyway, but apparently he got some fucking dumbass morals. When they, This is the, the thing. He, he even mentioned this in this, but I don't know if he said Then it. I'll keep playing I don't know if I can it. find it. I don't know how long the If I play it once, I've been mulling over in my head. No one cares if you play it early. I do. I. No one cares if you play it early. I, I do. Because I actually have values and morals and, and things that I live up to. He have values and morals and things that he live up to. So his morals cover him not playing the game early. But his morals don't cover him going out and, and, and trying to do more to get money. His morals don't cover, let me put a $2,000 donation goal on the screen, to pay tax bills that I should have known about ahead of time. His morals don't cover that. His morals don't cover... When these people, his morals don't cover him making it transparent to what people donating to. Instead of saying, give me money for my tax situation, and then you move your girlfriend in across the country and say, oh yeah, you helped with that too. His morals don't cover that. His morals don't cover him getting games for free from his fans and rage quitting them. Remember when he got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for free from one of his fans? They bought the special deluxe edition. The shit was like $90. And he, the dude that gave it to him, this is some old law, but the pre-stream still exists if you care that much. The fan that gave him the game said they gave him the game for him to review it. Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare, whatever the fuck, remaster. They gave him the game to review it. Guess what? DSP never reviewed it. I don't believe he did. I'm actually looking this up. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. He never reviewed it. The fan gave him Infinite Warfare to review, and he never reviewed it. And back then, he even said he was going to compare this to Battlefield 1 and to Titanfall 2, I think. He never did that video. So a dude spent $90 on another grown man to review a game. He never even fucking reviewed it. And then he stopped playing it early. He pretty much beat the story, barely played the uh, multiplayer, he played Call of Duty 4 a few times. He definitely didn't get $90 worth out of it. And it was done. His morals don't cover that. He has no morals when it comes to any of that. But he cannot play a game a day ahead. He can play it at 9 p.m. his time because he live on the West Coast. When these new games come out and they have digital releases at midnight, he can play them at 9 p.m. his time. 
His morals don't cover that. His morals literally only cover, apparently, playing the game within even an hour before other people can. Besides that, morals out the fucking window. I need a piece of paper to ball up. I have no I have no paper to ball up. There we go. Morals out the fucking window. That was a terrible throw, but I didn't want to hit my microphone. Morals out the fucking window. <laughs> and I have to be okay with myself. You know, I have to wake up every morning and at least be okay with myself in order to keep doing this for a living. And the bottom line... You can wake up and be okay with yourself every morning begging kids for tax money. But playing a game early is going to drive you over the edge. Mine is if okay. I was doing you know, silly things to get early copies of games all the time, playing them early to make easy, cheap... And apparently contacting publishers, developers, and marketing companies to get games early is doing silly stuff. He got Fallout 4 early from Bethesda. He cheesed Xbox uh, Japan or whatever, whatever the fuck to get Dark Souls 3 weeks before America got it. That's not doing silly stuff. But if you bring that up, he would have an, he would have an, an excuse Early for Early release sure. views. I would feel horrible about myself. because that would. Be you don't feel horrible about yourself begging for tax money. All right, sure, whatever. That's enough of that. Good God, Dave. Good God. This is the tax video. 23 minutes long. It's not going to be and a long segment. And we're going to be done after this pretty much. So now, folks, real quick, it's not going to be a long segment. But I do want to kind of gloss over what I found out about my taxes. In fact, first off, I guess I should do this, all right? Hold on. Look how stupid this is. Hello, everybody. 40p. Sorry for the extreme close-up face cam here, but I figured I camera. should show you my taxes. Here they are. These are actually a big thing. That's big. When I saw this, this reminded me of like the little fold I got when I graduated driving school. This is a big thing of taxes. And you know what's funny? This actually lines up with the original twill longer because remember this folder he's showing is federal fallacia and state fallacia as a matter of fact it might not even be showing that well you, yeah i guess so but this this folder isn't the state this folder isn't the actual back taxes this isn't what he's been crying about for four months this is completely different taxes But whatever. I love how paranoid he is. Because I, I went over this in the start of the video. When he first started talking about the taxes. I want to know what the amount is. I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to let you guys know. Then people started asking what the number is. He said he's not going to say what it is. Because if he say what it is, people are going to use it against him. Then what happened, what I think happened the money people was giving him started to slow down. So he had to double down on it and he had to flip flop a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna show you a tax a tax folder. Okay, I'm gonna give you an exact number because people ain't donating like they're supposed to. So that's why he did this. Low key he did this for the trolls. Pretty much. Cause the actual fans, the people that's that's on their knees kissing his dick all day, they're gonna give him money anyway. It could be he getting it could be the donations are kind of low. Maybe because normal people don't have a bunch of money to give to YouTubers. Might be it. That might be the case. I don't know. I might be wrong. I don't run a business. But that might be what's going on here. From my tax attorney that I got yesterday, 2017 taxes. Look how sad this is. Uh, you know, and in here, ridiculous. Imagine. Imagine needing to upload a video of yourself showing tax forms. Alleged, well, I don't have to do alleged with the quotes, but showing tax forms. Imagine that. Imagine your life being so fucking lame. You gotta show strangers on the internet tax forms so they believe you owe, you owe bills to people. You understand how sad that is? And you still wanna do this full time? You love doing this, DSP? You don't love doing this. He loved waking up whenever he wants to and having fun all day and uploading it to YouTube. That's what he loved doing. He don't love this. He don't love this. If he could stand on the corner and twerk and get the same amount of money, he'd be twerking outside right now. Ridiculous amount of documents and information about, oh, breaks it down, look. You, you don't see anything. Oh, breaks it down, look. 
you, you, you got to open what the blank page is showing. Breaks it down into detail and everything about everything that happened over the course of 2017. What I 2017. This yet again goes with the original thing I was reading. This is literally not even back taxes. The thing he'd been complaining about the last four months still is not, it still don't have a number attached to it. We're never going to get to know his actual back taxes, the thing the attorney, accountant, actually screwed him over. That is something else. I paid wow. what I owe, the bill that I got from my tax attorney, yada yada. Oh, the bill from the tax attorney. I was about to say tax is not a bill. I thought the people that thought that could be a bill are kids that don't know what they're talking yada. about. It's all right in here, all right? Now, I can't show this to you because it has a ridiculous amount of personal information in there. It's got my tax ID number. It's got filing numbers. It's got addresses. It's got all this. It's got addresses playing outside. It's got addresses. What fucking address? You can Google DSP and find his address that easy. What other addresses, Dave? His tax ID. You know, because, okay, this, all right, I could show this. This is like, <laughs> this information is probably older than me. This is a really old sheet of paper. All right. Can you read that? 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 Guess what? You fucking can't. It's actual words typed on here. But guess what? You can't read them. That's probably actually what his paper was, too, the lighting. The light and made it to when you can't read it. It's literally words right here. You can't read it. I gotta put a shadow over it and then you can tell us where it's there. Now, okay, let's hold it up from this range. Can you read the numbers on that? Maybe you can. I don't know. But he really. I'm not gonna open it and show it because you're gonna see all kind of ridiculous numbers. You're gonna see text IDs. You're gonna see forms. Yeah, because somebody is gonna do fucking CIA detail detailed research and find your tax id from you holding a folder up like this okay this information that if it leaked obviously you know exactly what the trolls would do with it so i'm not gonna what are the trolls gonna do with a tax id i don't know it's probably some fucked up shit you can do with show it. you any of that stuff all right so oh, we'll suggest you still scan the documents block out certain areas and then upload that block to the it doesn't matter the bottom line it doesn't matter my guys is it doesn't matter what I show you in here, all right? So why show a folder at all? It doesn't matter what I show you. Why give hard numbers? You get what I mean? It doesn't matter what I do or what I show you. I'm going to give you flat, hard numbers, and I'm going to show you a folder to prove I actually have taxes. But it don't matter what I show. All right. People will say I lied anyway. People will say it's doctored. People will I mean, it's a lot of YouTubers that get accused of being liars. But I don't see any of them uploading videos on the internet with them holding tax folders. I don't see any twit language from them saying that they owe exact amounts of money to, to the IRS and shit. But it, it don't matter. We'll say right. I photoshopped it. People will it say it's like some untrue. damage control. It doesn't matter what I show you in here. None of it is relevant. Because people will just, just immediately just make shit up. Facts are irrelevant because people are going to alter them. So if I tell you that my name is Tevin, that does not matter because people can just make it up. People can make up a new name for me. Facts are irrelevant because they can be altered. Wow. And say that I lied or whatever, and it's not proof of anything anyway. That's like okay. some politician um, spin. It's, that's sad. It's sad that they... You know what's sad? You know what's really fucking sad? A 36-year-old man doing week-long birthday celebrations to raise money to pay his taxes. You know what's really sad? A 36-year-old man starting a gaming stream, because remember, this is a gaming channel. That's what this is, the foundation of this, is to play fucking games on the internet. You know what's sad? A gaming channel ran by a 36-year-old uploading videos holding tax folders to prove to kids he got a bill to pay. You know what's sad? A 36-year-old 36 making a twit longer Telling us that he got bills. That's fucking sad. And you know what's even worse? The twit longer when he broke up with Panda Lee is longer, no, it's shorter than the twit longer about his taxes. That's fucking sad. You want to tell us what's sad? That's sad. Well, the, the people who criticize me the most are not logical. They're not logical humans. They will literally make conspiracy theories up. They will say whatever they want. It doesn't matter what I show you, none of it will prove anything. All right. 
the people that criticize him the most, I'm gonna say I'm one of those since I do fucking three hour long videos on this faggot. The people that criticize him the most make shit up. As you guys know, I always make stuff up. That's the foundation of my dumb videos is to make stuff up, to be honest. Every day. Every day. Remember when the escort happened? Remember how much I talked about it and said how factual it was? That he totally had an escort? Yeah, I made all of that up. I make everything up. Mmm. The SOK got a longer twit longer than the taxes, by the way. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Look at this. This is the Leanna twit longer. It's one paragraph. The SOK twit longer is longer than a Leanna twit longer. The Texas twit longer is shorter than the SOK twit longer and longer than the Leanna uh, twit longer. You want to know what's sad, DSP? That's sad. That is fucking sad. Wow. <laughs> you this low on the ground and you telling other people what's sad. That's pitiful. So, uh, that being said. You know, you want to know what's sad? Comparing not playing games for a day to a person with an actual job that they got to go to regardless if they want to be there or not. That's sad. Um, here's what I found wow. out. All right. Here's what I found out. And he turned his camera on just to show his tax folder. That's sad. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. I have enough money raised since the what I had left over from the end of 2017, plus oh, the money that I've raised between you know the earlier months of the year and now, plus some other money that has come in. You know, like, like for example, my parents gave me a birthday gift and stuff like that. All you want to know what's sad? Your elderly parents giving you money. For your birthday all that and everything i raised this last week all that money is enough to number one pay off the it's remaining they need taxes for retirement anything okay that i still have Don't to pay for 2017 and almost to do at the middle of this month april 17 and number two it's enough to pay my tax attorney fees all right my remaining taxes are roughly around like four thousand dollars they're actually a little bit more i think it's like 4100 and change and my tax attorney fees are just under a thousand so it's about five thousand dollars that i owe but I have enough money to cover all of that. That's about... I'm this don't add up. He say in this Texas twit longer, he got enough to pay both 2017 back taxes, which is not necessarily back taxes. But that's four for, four for federal, a thousand for attorney. And then if you go down here, he say 5K was the January. And then, so that's $9,000. Like, period. It's $9,000 you're telling us here. Yeah, you jumbled it up and it's a little harder to try to figure out. But when you read the whole thing and take all of, all of it in and correct the order of stuff, you saying you paid nine grand, or you have nine grand to pay and you got the money. And right here he's telling that it was 5000 What? I'm almost exactly what I raised. But in the last few months... Oh, yeah. He raised the exact amount of money he needed, obviously. That's so, so believable. You know, <laughs> plus, like I said, people being gen uh, people who were very generous this last week. Um, and in addition, you know, my, my parents helped me and everything. So the good news is, as of last year's taxes, I'm good to go. I'm not going to be considered a default or back, back. You know, that would be terrible. I couldn't pay the 2017 taxes. That would be the wor absolute worst case scenario. If he couldn't pay the 2017 federal taxes that he always been paying, yeah, that would be pretty bad because you expect that. The good news is I'm not in the absolute worst case scenario. So thumbs up. That's a good thing. Okay. That's a good thing. The bad news is that because I'm self-employed, okay, the government, the feds, the feds. Expect me to just have magical funds available at all times. They don't actually care about the ups and downs of business. They don't care when your big boom time of the year is or when your slow time of the year is. They just don't give a shit. They expect you every quarter when you're self-employed to pay them a certain amount of money. That's how taxes work in the United States of America. I know that sounds ludicrous. I love this. I know that sounds ludicrous. Uh, uh, if you're not successful enough 
as a business to pay your taxes while that helicopter or plane is going ape shit. If you're not successful enough as a business to the point where you either can't or you're so annoyed about your taxes to when you have to complain about them, the children, you may not be running a very good business. You may want to just give it up. If I ran a car dealership and every time I had to pay my taxes, I cried to the customers about how I barely have enough to pay and I need more, more customers to pay them, I might not need to run a car dealership. I'm either bad with money or I don't get business or both. Guess what? DSP is bad with money. He don't get enough business. It's almost like he shouldn't be doing this full time anymore. No way. Crazy. Because for example, the early months of 2018 have been bad on YouTube. Really bad. Ad revenue is terrible. You know what's sad? Since DSP wanted to tell us what was so sad. You know what's sad? What's pitiful? What you should be ashamed of? You need to rely on people with talent, game developers, to put out good games. Then you need to play those games, hope you're good enough at them for people to watch. Then upload that footage to YouTube, hope people on YouTube want to watch, and then hope YouTube got good enough advertisements for you to get enough money to pay your bills. That's pretty fucking sad. But somehow this is so much better than... than having a regular job and he loves doing this when he got to rely on 80 billion other fucking things to be successful if he want to be successful on twitch he got to rely on new games coming out that he interested in playing games coming out that other people are interested in watching and then those people that watch he got to hope they want to give him money it's for existing and with youtube he got to worry about people with talent the game developers then he got to worry about youtube getting advertisements and they can only get advertisements if some asshole want to buy advertisements that's pretty bad that's kind of worse than having a like a, a job at, at mcdonald's like like if mcdonald's make twenty dollars today i'm not gonna make less money that day now if they make twenty dollars every day for a few months then they might be going out of business or maybe a few years because these places I don't know. I don't know how fucking owning the McDonald's work. But if DSP make $20, he getting $20. If I work at McDonald's and they make $20, I'm still going to get paid the same amount of money. Like, they're not going to show up my check and say, oh, yeah, remember, remember Friday when we ran out of burger meat and we didn't make any money? Yeah, you're getting $100 less because of that. That don't happen. But he loves doing this. Yeah, okay. Uh, they did pick up slightly in March a little bit, and now it's back to being terrible again. All right. So, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous that that's how it works. You know what's ridiculous? You know what's really ridiculous? That you need new games to come out and be good for you to be successful. You need someone else to succeed in order to be successful yourself. That's pretty ridiculous. Because what they really should look at is what did you actually make income-wise? Also, I talked about this before a long time ago. DSP wants the government to look at how much you made and to look at your bills and to tax you on a difference. That's what he implying here. You know how fucking dumb that would be? Because if you were a millionaire, you could just buy a million dollars worth of stuff every year and say, well, look at all of these houses I own. These houses and these cars add up to a million dollars in payments. So, yeah, I can't, I can't give y'all anything. That's what he wants Texas to work. That's how he wants Texas to work. He's 36 years old and he wants Texas to work this way just to fit his life. And now pay it adjusted for that. That's not how it works. They actually just want you to pay an estimated tax fee every quarter. So they actually oh, now, now on top of the $5,000 that I have to pay right now, 4100 or whatever for my the rest of my 2017 taxes and the $1,000 I have to pay to my tax attorney for doing my taxes, they also expect me to pay another $4,000 all right, by April 17th, for the first tax payment of 2018. Yeah, these numbers don't add up. This tour longer is worded either really, 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 really bad, or his story already getting foggy. Because right here it say 4,000, 1,000, both 
2017 back taxes. Later on, you read that he paid his January, he got over his January tax hurdle. And that says state. At the top, this say federal. So he owed federal by April 17th. It say, I'm going to add this up one more time, then I'm going to be done with it. Because I'm really trying to, I'm really, I really want to poke holes in this because this is really, this is some bullshit they have in us hell. It say 4000 by April 17th plus the thousand to follow. Later, it say he had state taxes in, 20, in, in the beginning of this year plus the attorney, which was five. Now, if you add this up, Raw is ten thousand. He got the same dude to do taxes to do the taxes though. So that's nine grand. That's two. Just like it say here, both these two thousand seventeen tax back taxes, which isn't really back taxes. Both. So that's four thousand plus five. Both. In his pre stream, he telling us he paid one thing plus the attorney fee. He owe another four thousand. Yeah, I know how stupid that really sounds. It do sound stupid. It sounds like his story got holes in it. It does sound stupid, but that's what they, they expect you to not only be paying the back, but now pay up front. That's not how business works, but that's how pet taxes work in the U.S. Okay. So you know more than the government. That's not how business works. Okay. So I'm screwed, and the reason I'm screwed is literally after I pay the 2017 taxes. And my tax attorney, which I have to pay, and I can't have be overdue on the tax attorney, um, I have no money to pay these new taxes at all. You see what he told us? Now ignore what I just told you. For now. He said, after paying the back taxes. Did he say back? I don't think he said back. Which I have to pay, and I can't have be overdue on the truth is, literally after I pay the 2017 taxes. Yeah. He still don't have the back taxes. He said after he paid the 2017 taxes, which is the federal taxes he got listed, for a grand. Attorney taxes, well, attorney price, that's one. The new taxes, the new taxes is the estimated payment, which is also conveniently for a grand. He missing two payments in this in this, fee, this thing he got going. He missing his actual back taxes, which he's still on a number of. He ain't bring that up yet. And he missing his second payment, his second tax payment that he made already. Based on this, he paid two tax payments. Now, I find it very hard to believe that somebody paid two multi-thousand dollar tax payments and forgot to bring up both of them in a 20 minute long segment. I think you might want to rewrite this story, Baba. That might be why you don't want to talk about taxes anymore. And my tax attorney, which I have to pay, and I can't have be overdue on the tax attorney, um, I have no money to pay these new taxes at all. I it doesn't work like, you know, it, it sucks. And Jerry says, could you do a payment plan? Dude, that's not how it works. Payment plan, you, you do a payment plan for back taxes to pay them over time. These are new taxes accruing over the course of 2018. There's no payment plan for it. Right. This is a lie, too. Based on his twill longer, this is literally a lie. He said these are not back taxes, these are new taxes. He paid his 2017 taxes. State, government. Two, right here, both. He owes the estimated tax. That's what he don't have. That's what he say he don't have. That's four grand. He still don't know the number based on his twill longer. He still don't know the number to his state actual back taxes. Which is what they will put him on a payment plan for. And he has in this twit longer. I'm really hoping they'll put me on an extended installment payback plan. But that's still uncertain. The next day, a dude say, aren't you going on a payment plan? And he say, that's not how it works. Are you fucking kidding me? You do a payment plan for back taxes to pay them over time. These are new taxes accruing over the course of 2018. There's no payment. No, they're not. Right here, you say you don't know the back taxes yet, and you hope you get put on a payment plan. A dude say, can't you pay the payment plan? And he say, it's no payment plan. These are all new taxes. What? Okay, I'm closing this fucking tab.
This shit is so aggravating. Plan for it. All right. They just expect it to be due in the middle of April, no matter what. I don't have it. So bottom line is, uh, I won't be overdue on my back taxes from. My question is, how does he not have it? Because he know he had to play. He know he had to pay the what they call this first estimated tax payment. He always paid that. It's videos from two, three years ago with DSP complaining about estimated taxes in the start of the year. He always knew he had to pay that. So how does he not have it? How do you not have that? And you need a fan funding to get the other taxes. You literally didn't save any money. And you cried online to try to pay everything off. And you want to tell us what's sad. Last year, but as of my new taxes of this year, I can't pay them. All right. Now, every quarter, they expect me to pay another song. June, September, December. Okay? This doesn't get enough. I'm already going to be behind. Okay? It sucks. I don't want to be behind, but I am. There's nothing I can do about it. I have no ma magical funds. I have nothing I can sell. Nothing he can sell. He got an Xbox One he barely used, an Xbox 360 he don't use, a PS3 he don't use, a 3DS with a capture card in it. Those are worth a lot of money that he don't use, a PS Vita he don't use, a 4K TV, but whatever, he got to watch TV, expensive ass sofa, he leasing a 2017-2018 model car. He got, remember when he was selling statues to his fans? He has thousands of dollars self-appraised value of statues. This is all stuff that he barely interact with or don't look at at all. He has nothing to sell. He got the first lemon, which was the, 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 the Chris Potato computer. Unless he threw the computer away, he still has that. That's got an i7 in it and probably a the graphics card probably still would cost about a couple hundred dollars. He could sell that. He got nothing to sell. No, you have nothing you want to go through the effort of selling. You have nothing you want to take the chance trying to sell. You have stuff to sell. You don't want to get rid of anything. You have stuff to sell. You got a Wii U that you don't use. You won't ever use it again. Nothing to sell. I'm, I believe unless he refunded shit, he got multiple capture cards. Nothing to sell. I have no magical funds that I can... No magical funds. Twitch is going to be paying him in a few days, but I guess that all goes to bills. No magical funds. Your girlfriend just moved in with you. She got a job. She ain't going to help you try to keep your house, but she can move in with you. And if you can't pay your tax bill, she's just going to move out with you. That's some fucking girlfriend you got. That's not, that's sad. That's sad. <laughs> Moving bitches in and they'll help you pay your bills. That's sad. You to raise tons of money out of nowhere, you know. I can't not pay my other bills. If I don't pay my credit card bills, if I don't pay my loan bills, if I don't pay the electricity and gas, if I don't pay the mortgages, you know what I mean? I get kicked out of my house. I can't operate the business and make money. Yeah, you get kicked out the first day you don't pay your mortgage. You get kicked out the first day you don't pay your credit card bills. He's never going to pay his credit card bills off. He's going to owe them people the rest of his life. And he's going to die. And they're going to take the L. <laughs> oh, money. Lord. So I, I have to do what I have to do. Um, what, big? <clears throat> yeah, do what you got to do. This whole thing sucks. Okay. I have to do what I have to do. That means no extra streaming. That means not selling stuff that I don't use. That means not getting extra money from my girlfriend. That means not downgrading my lifestyle. I have to do what I got to do. So that being said, um, you know, barring a miracle, which is not going to happen. You know, I'm a realist. A miracle. And I guess I shouldn't. A miracle is some random asshole giving him $4,000. That's the miracle. Or him winning the lottery. These are literally his only miracles. Say it's not going to happen. I, it's really very incredibly unlikely. Where am I going to get $4,000 between now and the 17th of April? I really don't foresee it happening. Because sell um, your girlfriend. At all. Uh, I'm just going to be behind. And what's going to happen is there's going to be fees and penalties associated with not paying this news. I just want to let you know. First of all, the good news is it's not worst case scenario. Absolute worst case scenario would have been, oh, I don't even have enough money to pay my back taxes. Now I'm completely fucked. All right, that's not the situation. You don't know your back taxes Thank yet, God. remember? All right, that's the number. The worst case scenario is he don't have enough to pay his back taxes. You don't know your back taxes, though. 
He literally said in this he don't know his back taxes. These are the real back taxes. Wait, not these. Oh, the oh yeah. These are the real back taxes. This 4K hidden back taxes, the second 4K hidden back taxes, and the estimated hidden back taxes. There's one thing that he don't even know the number to yet is the real back taxes. If you take this as being true. But if you watch the video and don't read this, you say to yourself, damn, he just owed like he just he just owed four grand. And he already paid five. But if you read this, you say, okay, he paid nine and he owed another four. And then he got a question mark number that he still owes. You know what's sad? Not getting your story straight. Number one. Number two, um, I have time. And what I mean by that is even though I'm not going to be paying the taxes immediately when the government wants me to, I still have an opportunity to pay them. All right. The problem is, yes, the, will there be, uh, will there be fees? Will there be? Why should his fans care about fees he has to pay? Be insane. All right. That's not how it we works. don't. We ha we so share really, a credit score. What I'm looking at is the following. Right now, things are okay on streams, which is great. YouTube sucks right now. I'll be real with you guys. YouTube, it went, went up and was actually pretty good in March for about half the month. And then as soon as April hit, it tanked again. Because what happened was I guess they had a bunch of good advertisers for the second half of March. And then those ad contracts ran out. And now YouTube ad revenue is terrible again. And it's funny because my views have not gone down. My views are still good. My views are staying no, consistent. Down, a lot of us. But again, I get penalized for YouTube not doing their jobs and selling ad space. Delightful, right? Um, but Twitch has been pretty consistently decent all right you know, i can't complain at all about how things go on twitch you guys are very supportive every single day um so at least in that regard things are, are positive and what i'm hoping here's what i'm hoping i, I gotta you know knock on wood and everything i can keep things going the, the way that they're going on twitch so to the point where i can grow the channel because the channel has been growing oh. i don't know if you guys are aware uh i've been getting more followers right Things have been going good, and when I play new games, and or when I play a game that's like a competitive game, like for example Street Fighter, okay, things go good. I get good views or whatever. Well, how long it takes to load? But the problem is, this has just been a well, really, really IP dead year. Going on I mean, this year, how many high-profile games hey, have I played? Two. Really long. It you shouldn't know take I mean? this long to load. Social. You know, Call uh, God of War coming up in two weeks is pretty much the biggest release of the year so far, and we're a third into the year, guys. That's pathetic. That's like what happened in 2018 where there were no good games in the full first third of the year. So when I got uh, no good games, no big high profile stuff, no, I can't bring in new viewers. And that's what sucks is look at last year. Resident Evil 7, Horizon Zero Dawn, Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's just three games within one major release within the first three months of the year that brought... The last Zelda, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Resident Evil 7. These are genre defending, genre defining like genre defining memorable like uh generation like generation represent representing games these are games people are going to talk about five six seven years from now you want that to happen every year let alone you need that to happen every year just to be just to float above water you need people to put out landmark like mind blowing games. And I don't really like I don't like either of those games. I don't like The Last Zelda. I don't like Resident Evil 7. And I can't even play Horizon Zero Dawn. But I'm not dumb. I realize that these games are special. You need that to happen every year to stay above water. It's not like you might have a problem. It's not like this might not be working out full time. Got in a lot of attention. This year there's been Zippo, Zero, Nada, nothing, right? I'm trying to figure out how to look up this faggot stats. Because he doing so, so that good, being said, which is not true, by the way. Um, it's just not. What I'm hoping is to get a build, all right? So what do I mean by a build? I mean that coming up, for example, a God of War, stupid. then in, really in, can't in May, the State bro. of Decay 2, Detroit Become Human, the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Over the summer, we're actually setting the stage. It looks like there's maybe some pretty high-profile stuff coming out over the summer. Keep in mind, over the summer, I'll be doing my Bloodborne Redemption run. Which I think that's not true, by the way. He already changed his mind. He's so desperate. 
motorcycle. He's so desperate. He even said in black and white, well, said in black and white, but he even blatantly said, I need some attention. Now, in this video, he's telling us his Twitch channel growing and he's doing so good. But then right after that, he said, well, no new games are coming out, so it's stagnant. And then not even a week later, he said he need attention. So he's going to be playing Bloodborne early. He's supposed to start Bloodborne on Friday. And like I said, I'm recording this on Wednesday. Now, this is Dave Twitch stats. I don't know how good this chart is, but 90-day uh, growth. Average viewers, 600, 600, 400, 600, 400, 300, 300, 300, 400, 400, 400, 400, 400, 400, 400, 400, 400. And this is, from, this is from the start of the year. Now, if you look at this chart, it looks about the same. This, what, stagnant for three months? This day he did pretty good. 700 sub average viewers. I don't know what happened on February 18th. He must have got suspended and came back or some shit. Mr. Moisture gives away all his money. That's the second highest Twitch clip. Third highest Twitch clip is him making poo sounds with his mouth. 36 year olds. Anyway, uh, average view was 396 from the last week. I don't think you can do it to see it that way from the last uh, year or so. And look at all of these cool people that follow him. He don't follow him back because he's a cuck and he hate everybody. Peak view was 2,700. That was when he got hosted by Chaotic, by the way. 50 hours streamed. I streamed 80 hours this week. Well, no, I streamed 80 hours this month. My bad. I'm glad I corrected that. 51,000 followers, up 297 over the last week. Seven-day viewership, 170 for something, less than four, about four, four something, six something for Street Fighter, but it don't matter because you don't make more money. Yeah, your stream not growing, Dave. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Social Blade, of course, everyone's favorite. Boom, he lost almost 3,000 followers. I don't know how. I guess Twitch might have deleted a bunch of bots. But yep, DSP lost 3,000 followers. And uh, last month, between last month and this month, 3,000. That's pretty bad. And monthly views, 50, 50,000. So we're going to start from November of 2016. He was on Twitch in 2016. Time, time fucking flies. Apparently. So 20, I'm going to say, no, I don't trust that. January 2017, 60,000 monthly views. All right. February, 40,000. March, 90,000. That was when the switching stuff came out. Uh, April 90,000 and fast forward a little bit to October last year 90,000 November last year that's the hardcore gaming season by the way 90,000 December 90,000 January 100,000 these are monthly views so this is kind of this partially irrelevant because if you go to this channel when you're not streaming it's still kind of a monthly view 90,000 for February 100 Ten thousand for March, but he got suspended in March. So I think a lot of those artificial people trying to go to this channel see if he was still suspended. And so far in April, it's forty thousand. This seemed like he'd been stagnant for a while. But the thing is, you got to think, you got to remember, DSP don't really talk about for real numbers. Sometimes he do when he want to spin a narrative, but that's not the actual case. A lot of when he say it's slow, he mean this is slow. The dollar signs are slow, not the views. Not not the channel views and all of that. Literal bits, subs, and uh, tips. That's slow. People are very much looking forward to it. Okay? Whatever. I may return to Persona 5 during the summer. I hope finish you cut it up. Right, I had no opportunity to do so last year. I don't like Persona okay? 5. <clears throat> um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Um, all right. What I'm hoping, and this is being as positive as I can, trying to have a positive outlook on the future, that the streaming situation will grow and build and become more and more successful to the point where by the end of the year, especially with all the high-profile releases that you know come out at the end of the year, guys, um, I'll be able to make up for all this. I'll be making extra money in the latter half of the year, right? 
that will be more than enough to pay for the taxes I can't pay now. Okay, that's so what you want, like ten grand in a couple of months at the end of the year? It's not gonna happen. That's what I'm much. hoping. Wow. Is it necessarily going to happen? I have no idea, but that's what I'm hoping for, and what I'm really hoping for here is so he not gonna do anything extra he not gonna stream more he not gonna change his schedule anymore he not gonna change the types of games he play he not gonna change his commentary he not gonna edit his videos he not gonna even make a stream layout he just gonna hope that he get more money directly from his fans by the end of the year that's focusing sad. in on being positive every day having fun with you guys on stream. oh yeah you have a lot of fun give me shit for that oh my god Phil. Hosted me and Let's rated me. And come out and you know spend some time with me because I got I'm tired. I gotta go to sleep. Let's listen to Focusing this. in on being positive every day, having fun with you guys on stream, growing the channel in any way that I can. All right. Any way he within can. Reason. Within All reason. Right. Give you an example. The other night I was playing PUBG after 12 hours of working on my birthday. 12 hours of working. He loves doing this. It's not a job. He doesn't clock in or anything. You guys. He loves doing this. He was working. 12 hours working. I'm not about to add these numbers up. I'm, I'm sorry. But you know how long DSP streams are. He doesn't stream 12 hours a day. He just don't. He just fucking don't. As a matter of fact, I can go, I can go to his Twitch channel now and do uh Oh, this is the review. The review up already. Likes All and right, dislikes ladies on. and gentlemen. Congratulations. The comments disabled. Congratulations. You get to keep my dislike then. Fucking disabled comments. Do 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 he got his twitch too far down to say that's pretty much his job. So we're gonna go back back in time. This is Nani Cooney. Two hours and fifty minutes. He actually made it easy for me. He say he worked twelve hours on his birthday. He didn't stream extra for his birthday. Extinction is a five hour stream. Nino Cooney is a two hour two hour fifty minute stream. An hour of extinction, an hour of every stream, the first hour is pre-stream. It's a 15 minute break in the stream too, but I'm not going to be mean and take away 15 minutes and then 20 minutes for the pre-pre-stream and an hour for the actual pre-stream. I'm going to do the raw numbers right here. This is second stream, Nino Kuni. This is first stream, extinction. Five hours, six hours, seven hours. S less than eight hours. Nine, 10, 11, 12. What other four come from? You work 12 hours on your birthday. You work... Eight hours on your birthday. You clocked in, you clocked out, and you had a 90 minute break in between. You worked 12 hours. Eat a dick. My girlfriend was waiting for me in the bedroom, saying, come out and you know spend some time with me because I'm tired, I gotta go to sleep, but I at least wanna have some time with you today. You know? Your girlfriend wanted to spend some time with you on your birthday. Did she really? Did she really, Dave? Did she really wanna spend time with you on your birthday? Let's listen to the start of this. So, look at that. Autism. Look at that. That's my cake. Cat made this for me. And by the way, I tried to convince Cat to come in here. She would not. I tried. I convinced her. She's like, come on, baby. You know, come on in. You know, you have a piece of cake with me. No, no. I, you know, I don't look good. I've been home from work and I'm tired now and I don't look good. So she wouldn't come in. I tried. I tried my best to convince her, but she wouldn't come in. So she wanted to spend time with you on your birthday, but she couldn't come sit next to you and eat a piece of cake with you on your birthday. She instead decided to wait around almost three hours, then you could spend time with her. It sounds like his story is complete bullshit. <laughs> and I'm ending the stream and then Cryotic, another very popular streamer on Twitch. Also, another very popular streamer. Another very popular streamer. Now, DSP got 50, 51,000 follows, 400 subs, and he says another popular streamer, Cry whatever the fuck, has 730,000 followers. He averages 2,000 views. He playing near Automata, and he got more views than DSP got playing a game in years. I think maybe in ever. I don't think he ever got 2,000 views back, even back when he was first on Twitch. He calls this dude another popular streamer. DSP calling Creatic another popular streamer is like me calling DSP another popular streamer, implying I'm popular. You're not popular compared to this. Another popular streamer. 700 something thousand followers. 2,000 views per stream on average. Another.
popular stream. Hosted me and rated me, and a bunch of people jump on the stream, thousand viewers wow. or whatever. And I'm like, well, guys, you know, it's great that you're here. I appreciate it. Sadly, I have to go. You know, I have to and go. And people gave me shit for that. Oh my God, Phil, you're in a situation where you need money, and then you had a thousand, more than a thousand people coming in. This is you the thing I talked about earlier, twice in this video now. He begs for money, cries about taxes, and he doesn't want to do anything for it. You want the pimp to pay you more and you don't want to work for it. You either fucking work for it or you don't ask. You didn't stay around. Stick around. Guys, I was streaming all day fucking long. All day. It wasn't like I had just started streaming. All day. Five hours. Almost two hour in between break. And then two and a half hours. All day. Twelve hours. It's a twelve hour day. Right? And then I was like, oh, I'm out of here now. Dude, wow. it's a completely different situation than that. You know, and by the way, I do want to say shout out to Cryotic. He's a good guy. Every once in a while, he comes in, he raids this stream. No, you're not. It's you a don't positive even know. Raid. He does a raid correctly. Yeah, he you raids know, correctly. I'm in a situation uh -huh. here where, sure. you know, within reason, I've been streaming all day long. I've been streaming all week long, nonstop. It's non -stop. the end of my birthday. I've had zero moments to spend with my girlfriend all day because I've been working all day. You had a 90-minute break in between streams. You asked her to come, come sit next to you on your couch, and she said no. She did She purposely didn't want to spend time with you. What? Sorry, I'm not gonna stay streaming for another hour in the hopes of raising a few shekels or whatever. A few that shekels. A few shekels. That's the advertise unfriendly DSP. You ain't, you ain't supposed to talk that way. Hell, it's just shekels. You know what I mean? You That's ridiculous. Uh, Mr. Medic or not? Um. Sorry, uh. and it, I made the right decision, by the way, because we had some nice quality time together. It was like, you know what? I made the right decision. Ended up having the ending. It's a creepy sentence coming up. Having a good end of my birthday rather than sitting here the on a good end of his birthday. I just think about him trying to smash when I think of that. But you, you spent time with her. You spent time with her in between streams. Didn't you spend time with her? You could have spent time with her. She didn't want to because she didn't want to come in the room. I don't know. Whatever. Stream like an idiot for two an extra stupid hour. people living in a full uh, bedroom no house. No point. Okay. Pretty much. Or oh, is it three? Um, I think it's three. So that being said, guys, um, um, you know, you I'm know, gonna do everything I uh, within reason this year that I. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna give you the rundown because he he kind of under underplayed it. He was on his last match of PUBG. Cryotic meme hosted him because it's a it's a clip with him talking about it before he hosted him. He was like, oh yeah, you gotta host DSP. You guys go there to say happy birthday. And other dude was like, well, you gotta host him with so toxic. These dudes take him as a fucking joke. They don't dislike him, but they still take him as a joke. Anyway, Cry whatever the hell hosted DSP for more than 2,000 views. More than 2,000. And he was like, oh, you guys, I'm sorry you guys showed up so late, but this is my last match. He finished the match, and he sat around for almost 15 minutes after that. I think he might have brought up like somebody was like, "You're gonna get a thousand dollars at the end of the stream." He's like, "Oh, I don't think um, I don't think that's gonna happen, man." Wink, wink, please. And then he he just left. And DSP doesn't raid anybody. He auto hosts people, so he ended up auto hosting like fucking, like fucking NYC Furby or some shit. Trash ass auto host for during Dragon Ball Fighter Z, two thousand people. And they get auto hosted. And this actually is kind of funny. Because Sunday, it was either Sunday or Monday, I was streaming. And I was in the same exact situation as DSP. And I go to work eight hours a day. I wake up at 4.45 in the morning. I get home at about 3 o'clock, just about. Unless I go to Walmart or something. I actually think I went to Walmart that day. I think it was Monday. I think it was. So... You know, I was gone, you know, nine, ten hours, just like he was the, on his birthday. And he was so tired, about to pass out. But anyway, whatever. So I work a whole day at an actual job. I know it blows your fucking mind. A dude on the internet actually goes to a job. I work a whole day at an actual job. I come home. I, uh, no, as a matter of fact, that was Tuesday. I went to Walmart. I'm lying. So this was Monday. I didn't go to Walmart. But I was going eight hours. Come home. Uh, clean up a little bit. Do some some stream stuff because I, I like to make layouts and, and notifications and shit. So I do some stream stuff. I start streaming. I think I might have been streaming like two and a half, three hours because I'm trying to fix my sleeping schedule. I'm on 
I'm like, okay, after this part, I'm done streaming. I check the screen, I got a hundred something, hundred something viewer hosts from Waza. And I had like probably 50 views before he hosted me. Which is obviously way less than having 400, 500 views and you get hosted for more than 2,000. He didn't even play one extra match for 2,000 people that showed up. But when I got this host, I thought to myself, well, I was about to leave, but I guess I'll play Overwatch or something and fuck around. So I played Overwatch for like another 45 minutes. And then I was done streaming. He could have easily just played one more PUBG match. You really want to think that that 15 minutes was going to just kill him and Cat relationship? She could have did something anyway. He just like he said, she he asked her to come in the room to eat some cake with him on stream, and she said no. But he's supposed to throw two thousand something viewers away to fucking stare at her face for a, a few minutes before she go to sleep. All right, absolutely can't. Sure. Uh, to keep the streams positive, to grow the channel, to keep stuff going positive. Yeah, you grow the right. channel, all right. And hopefully things will work out well. YouTube. Forget it. He's still crying I about it. I wasn't able to pay. I can pay them. Okay. Will it actually go that way? I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. You know, um, it might not. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Well, I think what I need to do is stay positive. You know, should I really sit here and every day be worried in the back of my head that I can't pay my taxes this year by the end of the year? Now I have to sell my house in order to pay them? I mean, no. I mean, yeah, it's always going to be nagging at me. But me sitting here harping on it every day isn't beneficial to you, isn't beneficial to me, it doesn't benefit anyone. What I really need to do is, do, at this point, now that I know the situation I'm in, moving forward, I just need to focus on the positive and hope for the best, you know? Hope. Oh. And the bottom line is, you guys have been really, really supportive, and, you know, every once in a while, some really awesome thing happens, someone comes in and leaves a giant tip, and I'm like, wow, you know, I certainly wasn't expecting that, and that brightens my day up and makes me feel a little better. And Unexpected big amounts of money from a viewer brightens your day up. You want to talk about what's sad, DSP? That's sad. I, I undoubtedly those things will probably keep happening, and also, that's also awesome. undoubtedly those things will probably be keep keep happening. Undoubtedly, people are gonna send me random large sums of money for no for no extra effort or f for nothing. Undoubtedly, that's gonna happen. He's not entitled. He's a gamer, just like you. Awesome, and thank you guys who've stuck in. And I know it's very, very tiring for those of you who are here every day. And you got to hear about a tax situation. You got to hear about tips. You got to. He hear talked about taxes every day. He streamed. Every day he streamed, for the last four months. And for two months before that, he told people he had an issue and didn't want to say what the issue was. Since the Nintendo Switch released. Almost every stream, he say, if you want to help me out, send me tips directly. And I, I'm looking forward to when I don't have to worry about this when Twitch does better. Twitch did better. You still, tips, 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 tips. You should tip me. If you want to help out, you should tip me. I almost overdraw my bank account. You should tip me. For a year, you've been doing this. And he downplaying it and pretending like he'd been doing it for four months. You don't want to hear that shit. It took you, you know, a year to realize people don't want to get it. I, the reason I had to do it, very, very matter-of-factly, is because I had to do as good as I can. If I didn't even raise enough to pay my back taxes, okay? You don't know your back taxes yet, remember? The taxes you paid, you already knew you owed. You already knew you was going to have to pay those. Your story's unraveling here, Dave. This would have been an incredibly dire situation, as in I probably would have had to put my house on the market now. Thank God that's not the situation. Then it'll right. take months Thank to God. sell a house anyway. But that being said, um, it's certainly we're not in a great situation here either. It's kind of like, it's certainly not the worst case scenario, but it's certainly not the best case scenario. It's just kind of middle of the road. Okay, let's see how things go this year. All, All right, right, guys? So there you go. Um, thank you guys very much for being patient. And by the way, this is it. I'm not going to be bringing this up anymore. This is not going to be a major topic of discussion. It's funny when his story completely falls apart based on just this video and this twit longer literally to the t this twit longer does not add up with this pre-stream it just don't he even said he paid one tax payment and based on this he paid two 
he didn't even bring up the state back taxes. That's the thing that he got screwed over with to begin with. The thing, I said this like a thousand times, the thing he actually got screwed over on is this part that's highlighted. Oh yeah, I also am supposed to be hearing from the state of Washington soon when they complete their assessment of how many unpaid business taxes I owe. That's the actual back taxes. He don't even know the number and he don't want to talk about it anymore. Really? Only if something crazy happens where I may need your help. Let's say, for example, I don't know. I break my leg and now I get a, a, a freaking... If you break your leg, you're going to ask kids on the internet for 10 grand? Hospital bill for $10,000 that I can't pay. Um, Apparently it costs $10,000 to fix a broken leg, I guess. Um, okay. Yeah. Then I would probably bring something up. But outside of that, I think we're just going to proceed forward. Something tells me DSP is going to have another emergency before the end of the year. His entire career is based off of emergencies. Since I think maybe 2014, he always have an emergency. It's a copyright strike, copyright strike, copyright strike, copyright strike. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Air revenue, air revenue, air revenue. I got gout. I had to go to the hospital. I had to go to the doctor. Emergency room. Leanna. It's always an emergency. It's always something horrible going on with the SP. And when stuff calm down, he barely makes any money because people have no reason to give him money. People don't give DSP. It's some people that give DSP money because they actually like him. For the most part, people give him money because he's a fucking trauma victim. Oh, man, Phil, Phil had a car wreck yesterday. I need to give him $100. Oh, man, Phil told us about his back taxes. Let me give him $500. Oh, man, Phil has, it's Christmas time. Let me give him $1,000. The only way DSP gets money is if God, if God interferes, which is Christmas and his birthday. I'm going to assume both of those is God's fault if you want to be, if you want to pretend religion is real. And then you have uh, artificial emergencies. Well, not artificial, emergencies. Emergencies or something that God interfered with. This is the only time he get money. He get money for Christmas. He get money for New Year's, he get money for his birthday, and he get money when some, something bad happened to him. Business as usual, all right. Business as usual. There's no so reason for me to be harping on this anymore. Tax season is now over. Tax season is now over. Strictly based on his twit longer, it's obviously not. Because he still don't know how much he owe on back taxes. Tax season over. What? Um, And, you know, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep getting things going the way that they've been going. All right. Fair enough. I hope Yolo Dapa says some bait, because he loves to fucking bait. Obviously, uh, at almost the end every of the time year, I hear his name is bait. You know, once I see how things are going, if you guys would like an update, I will let you know. I mean, that would be the time. I think at the end of the year after we cover the end of the year, he would like to give people an update. You mean a time of the year where he make the most money? He told us about the taxes around Thanksgiving. He got thousands of dollars within days he did a begging stream after christmas and got three thousand dollars in direct donations that day not counting bits not counting subs and not counting patreon you're gonna not talk about taxes on purpose until the end of the year to milk more money out of teenagers when they get christmas presents you know what's sad that's sad. Heard all the new releases and things are probably hype and exciting and positive. Then maybe I'll bring it back up as a subject. Um, but here's what I'm going to be. As a very matter of fact, I'm going to ask you guys is please don't bring it up anymore. I'm going to do my best to not bring it up. Please do not bring it up anymore. I've not talked about it on this pre stream. I've done a twit longer. Please don't bring up my flawed story about taxes. Please don't bring up how right here I say it. I paid twice plus a thousand, which is nine grand. Don't bring that up. Because on my video, I say I only paid once, which was five grand. Where did 4000 go? Don't bring up that I begged for money to pay taxes I already knew I owed. Technically. Estimated, he already he, he always paid that. The federal, the over 4000 for the federal, he paid that because he got paid more last year. That's not even, that shouldn't even be presented to the fans as something they should help with. If anything... 
if you want to give him the benefit of the doubt. The only thing he should have been presented with to help was the back taxes that he don't have the number for yet. And whatever other state taxes. But the federal shit? Oh, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have got help for that. He shouldn't have. Don't bring this up to him because his story is flawed. Don't bring it up. About it. It's out there. It's public. That's it. There's no reason to keep harping on it. Um, you know. And please don't go. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to beat Phil. I'm going to cheer and ask him about his taxes. I'm just not going to answer it. It's like bait. It's bait to ask him about his taxes. It's bait to ask him about something he talked about every day for four months. Now it's bait. Because he doesn't want to talk about it. Now it's bait. Like, great, great. If you want the information, I already talk, talked about it. Go look back. I'm not. I'm not if gonna... you want the information, go look back. That's what I did today. I poked 17 million holes in your stories. Going back did not did not make your story look credible <laughs> going back i'm finding thousands of dollars that's not accounted for in this pre-stream video that was recorded not even 24 hours later i'm gonna bother with it Ooh. anymore there's no point you guys don't want to know about you don't want to hear it anymore i don't want to talk about it anymore i didn't want to talk about it to begin with this whole thing has been a nightmare really serious rolling domino effect because it's just so shitty uh but at this point you know what i mean barring a Four thousand dollar miracle in the next nine days, which a four thousand dollar miracle is some cunt giving him four grand. I'm a realist. Not it's him being responsible. Not going to it's incredibly and unlikely. It himself. I don't know how the hell I would not raise that much money in a short amount of time. Unbelievable. What, what the future holds. Sounds good, guys. Sounds fucking good. So the reason people gave you crap about leaving when you were rated is because every stream you bring up taxes. That's right, Aston Martin. But when do I bring up taxes? Because he doesn't bring up taxes during gameplay. It's okay for him to leave 2,000 Raiders with nothing to watch. So if he get raided during a pre-stream, then he has to continue to stream, I guess. It doesn't even make sense, dude. That doesn't make fucking sense. Back to stream. Sure. I don't know what else to tell you. You're uneducated and you're immature if that's the case because there are things... If you think a full-time if you think a full -time streamer should stream a few more minutes longer because they got a 2,000 view host even though they had less than 500 views when they got hosted, you immature... It's your job. If you work a nine to five job, you need to pay a really big bill and your manager come to you and say, we're going to pay you four times more if you work overtime. Or are you going to say, I can't do it because it's my birthday? Or are you going to say, hell yeah, I'm going to do it because I need to pay this bill? You're probably going to do it to pay a bill. That's what a mature adult would do, Dave. That's what a mature, responsible adult would do. They will work more to get what they want. I know it might blow your fucking mind. Far wow. more important. Yes, um, looking at horse faces. You guys are now That's more taxes. What That's about the state tax though. situation? Okay. I don't know anything about it. The state of Washington is still in the process of... Okay. You talked about federal taxes. What about the state tax situation? He didn't even bring up the state taxes in his video. His video that was supposed to explain the taxes. A person had to cheer and ask him about it. These are the taxes that he owe. The state taxes is literally his issue. When he did his first video talking about how the tax attorney fucked him over, that's over the state back taxes. And he don't even know the number yet, and he don't want to talk about it anymore. Somebody had to ask him about it. Wow. I don't know anything about it. The state of Washington is still in the process of doing an audit. and there's But you said in this video, tax season over with. And you see how we say the audit? Isn't an audit really fucking bad? Isn't an audit like really, 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 really bad? A tax audit is an examination of your tax returns by the IRS. I thought the IRS wasn't after him. He said an audit. But when people were saying the IRS was after him, he said it wasn't the IRS. And then later when he said it was the taxes, he said it's not the IRS. The IRS is federal. It's state taxes. But in this twit longer, you talk, you're telling us about federal. So it started off, it's not the IRS. Then it was, it's taxes. Then people say, oh, so it's the IRS after all. And then he said, no, it's not the IRS because the IRS is government and federal and I only owe state. But in this twill long, he talk about the federal more than he talk about the state. And in this video, he didn't even bring up the state until somebody asked about it. <laughs> Yo, what? My mind is blown off of this, dude. The IRS decides to examine your tax return a little more closely and verify that your income and deductions are accurate. So that's what they still doing. 
<sighs> was to tell me the assessment of what the state back taxes are that I owe. Uh, they said it would either be late March or April. Here we are, eight days in. If he owe, because it say attorney, it say state business taxes he had to pay in January. That's not the back taxes. That's for one year. That's 2017. He say he owed four thousand dollars. If you owe four thousand dollars just from one year, these people should get you with like ten grand for the back taxes. But he's not gonna talk about it in, unless he need to. So we not we never gonna know. Somebody gonna have to send him like fifty bits a month from now and say, Hey Phil, did you ever figure out the state back taxes you owed from the years you didn't pay it? And hope he answer. We never gonna get an answer on the actual thing that people been wanting to know. And they he's been talking about for four months. We never gonna get an answer. That is phenomenal. In April, I've heard not a peep from them. Okay. Wow. Eventually sometime this year they're gonna come to me and they're gonna say Here's what you owe. Eventually, sometime this year. But what I'm hoping is that they'll work with me, and they, since those are back taxes, will work out a payment plan. Okay. So if it's a payment plan of a, you know hundreds of dollars a month, that I could do. That's easy. If they hundreds tell, of dollars a month is easy. Tell me, oh, you owe okay. thousands of dollars due immediately. It, it, I, they're screwed. I'm just going to tell them, listen, you're not going to get your money, so you better work with me, or else you know. Yeah, that's I what can't, you, that's I can't what you tell it. a government. Okay. You're not going to get your money. Okay, Wesley Snipes, okay. So, there you uh, go, guys. Go do adult things in real life. This is bait, by the way. Buying a coot, whatever. I'm not going to go into that, but this is bait. And this is basically a detractor that's just, you know. Anyway, not going to go into it because people get mad at me when I say stuff like, like that. The, the damn dirty trolls are so transparent. DSP is obsessed about money and only cares about tips. Then Phil leaves early to go do adult things in real life. Adult things is staring at your girlfriend before you go to sleep. Oh my god, DSP didn't stay off for another 30 minutes to wring more money out of his raiders. Not hypocritical at all. DSP read this unironically and and res actually referred to this as Bionicoot said something cool in the chat. That's something cool. <laughs> Nigga, you for real? Let's listen to this. Nice silence, by the way. So, there you go, guys. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, by the way, here we go. Bionic, you just said something really cool that I want to read. That's really cool. They said damn dirty trolls twice. That's just the Chris Chan reference. So, there you go. All right. Hold on a second. It's honestly... That's manual fucking There's updates. There's no reason for me to be bringing it up. You know what I mean? You guys now know the situation. No, we don't. You know, gave us could lies. a miracle happen within nine days? Incredibly unlikely. And, and a miracle is his fans giving him money. Fantastic. That has been that. Hopefully you enjoyed me getting annoyed at his tax situation and being really, really confused by it. But I think I figured it out. I think I did. So, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. And if you don't like the video, post a paragraph long comment complaining about it. It has been your boy Almighty Tevin. This video was an hour longer than I wanted it to be. And if you want to, you can go back and read this twit longer 15 times until you understand it. And then listen to this 30 minute long video. And maybe you can connect the dots better than I did. But I am Audi 5000G. Probably got about to go make me some nachos. I hope this video not fucked up. Really, really All I can really do is up. stay pop. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Sounds good. Uh.